What's up guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and welcome back to another Tekken Revisited, and this time with Tag 2, and I make no secret that I wasn't a huge fan of Tag 2 for many reasons, but were there some great things about the game? Yeah, absolutely, like this stage, remember that ultra epic legendary stage with the amazing song in Tekken 5 Moonlit Wilderness? This is Moonlit Wil Wilderness version 2. So beautifully done. And they tweaked the song a bit, remix. Still super good. This was a great addition to Tag 2. But what I'm gonna talk about today is the greatest combo of all time. Quite literally. So in, in Tag 1, they introduced the great combo mechanic where lower teams could do a combo like only they could do. Like, for example, Martial Law with Paul, you know, friends in the story. They had a unique combo tagging in and out that only they could do. And when, they, when it finished, the announcer said... Great! And always, you know, tons of blue sparks. That was always a feature of these... Uh, uh, great combos like blue sparks as soon as you saw blue sparks and characters tagging in and out you you knew you were going to get blown up so Kazuya and Jimpachi so that's literally grandson and grandpa even though that's a very old grandson at four, <laughs> 49 <laughs> yeah the middle-aged grandson it's lovely uh, they had a great combo, and this was the most versatile one in the game. And it, there was so much you could do with it. So many possibilities. It was so good. If you played this team, which was already strong, like Kazuya and Tag 2, really good. Jimpachi, so cheap. So cheap. So strong. I mean, you already had a lot of great stuff. But then you had this combo, and it was so ridiculous. So I just want to go over like the history of this combo because uh, obviously I knew immediately about the basic version here But there that was just scratching the surface. That was just the top of the iceberg. This this combo was so flexible I'm gonna try and get into all of it So basically, let's just break down the the original iteration of the combo So Kazuya does demon god fist and again, this comes with some risk because this is minus 18 on block So you get launch punished but if you blocked a sweep or whatever, or you did, you know, your wave mix-up, and you got that, well, now your opponent is in a world of hurt. So, disconnects, and you press the tag button. Jimpachi, blue spark, automatically, I'm not pressing anything, he automatically goes into his flying stance. Up for 3-4, but, but with a blue spark effect. So here, you have to time it a little bit, you have to input 1-1-2. And he'll automatically do that, all of that, including that fireball and Kazuya running in. This, that's all aut automatic. If you're a bit late, it looks like this. It looks like this, and the combo is dropped. Okay? So again, 1-1-2, one, one, fireball. And there you can actually reset if you want to. I'm gonna get into that in a bit. So I press 2. When Kazuya comes in, and, and we get an electric automatically. And then press 1 to end it with Kazuya doing an Omen Thunder God Fist. This is the only time you'll ever see uh, Kazuya do his father's technique, the Omen. So again, 2, press 2, press 1. So there aren't a lot of inputs. This looks like super complicated, but all this is is while sending to tag, 1-1-2. One, one, Two, one. So it's very easy to do. And uh, this, uh, it looks like uh, Jimpachi bounds with the fireball, but the, the bound hasn't been used up. So we can wall. And of course, as this is tag two, we can do a ridiculous bound into tag assault at the wall. But I'm recording for YouTube, so we can't. Oh my god, is this Boa Lub? <laughs> yeah, it's tag two. So again, uh, that was a lot of wall travel, a lot of damage. Take them to the wall, and we can even bound them there for a big tag assault uh, ender. 
but yeah, I wanted to stress that you, this combo has a built-in reset. Where here, at, oh, uh, there was late. At this specific point here, that's an uh, that's actually an unblockable uh, fireball right there. That is unblockable. So that that's a reset. So you can even do that if you want to. You can reset there if your opponent is just standing there. Uh, so that's worth mentioning. But so anyway, uh, after a while, I discovered that you can actually do a version 2 of this combo by implementing a crouch cancel. Now this is hard to do, but this greatly extends this combo. Makes it way bigger and way more damaging. So we'll do it at this point here. It should be noted that to pull this off, you really have to mash the 2 button on this electric. That one. You want it to come out as fast as possible. That that was too late. That was too slow. Ma mash. And there, after that fireball, you have to crouch cancel by mashing a forward dash. Forward forward and then hold forward. And you can actually do down forward one two to bound. But again, this, this was very advanced, and I didn't really see anyone else do it. Right. <laughs> so now you get a ridiculously huge combo, version 2 of a great combo. Uh, does absolutely insane damage, and uh, yeah, the wall travel speaks for itself. Okay. I'll try and do it again. Mash. Oh, I was too late. You saw, uh, we got a reset. There we go. Um, isn't that one of the coolest combos you've ever seen? I just love it. And then there was a version 3. And this is the hardest one. Uh, I hope I can pull it off <laughs> to show you guys. It's so cool. Yes! First attempt! <laughs> okay, I had to edit that because it took me forever to remember how to do it. So it's uh, it's pretty damn strict, but as you could see, it's it's wall to wall and does about a billion damage. So a really, really sick combo. But there's even more to it. Even after all of that I've shown you, there's more to it. So when you do that while sending two, he flies in. He also has access to his fly one, two, four. This one. Now, believe it or not, yeah, that's a 55 damage natural combo. Oh God, can, can I press up for three, four? That, that's a natural from that jab. Not counter hit. Natural on non counter hit. F 55 damage. And when he flies in here on this great combo. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's unnatural. Because after this uh, while standing two tag in, Jin still has standing status. So all of that connects. And he's not even floated. It's just big ol' natural damage. <laughs> so it's just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, and you know, if Jimpachi was in rage, your partner was in rage coming in. I mean, it, it, it basically spelled death. It just immediately killed. We can take, uh, let's just see, we'll go to wall break. Uh, we can play around a little bit with this. Like, if you were at a breakable uh, wall, and, and let, let's just say we are, J Jinpachi is in rage. Uh, my partner is in rage. Here we go. So again, wall breaks. Oh no, I missed the final hit. 
You see, uh, e even solo Jimpachi, albeit this is with rage, but like his, his combo utility, even just by himself, is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, so again, that was with rage. Let's remove rage and let's do a, a, a tag combo from there. Uh, let's see. Do something like this. Uh, okay, I missed the under. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you can see uh, this is basically death. Uh, and the last thing I want to show you about this cool combo is that um, this also made, I discovered, Kazuya's downward free to one counter hit. If he ever hit you with that, uh, you died. Uh, so at the wall, if you have the execution, again, it's very strict. But when you get the counter hit on that last hit, you actually have time to manually crouch into an instant while standing too. And it's just, it's death. Um, so, yeah, in this video, I, I just wanted to show you, like, how one great combo in this game was just so unbelievably versatile. How much fun it added to that team. How flexible it was. And again, how this game was basically, if you were interested in combos, this game was your wet dream. But again, combos were a nightmare in this game. These big, great combos... It feels great when you're doing them to someone, but when someone's shoving those same combos up your ass, it doesn't, it didn't feel that great anymore. It actually felt pretty awful. But, uh, man, I love this combo. I love this team. Uh, and I, I hope you enjoyed this quite detailed breakdown of this combo and how it evolved over time. So thank you so much for listening to me and have a great day, everyone. Take care.